Good day fellow coin collectors and welcome to you know where you are. Grab your reference guides on South African coins. If you look in any of them, you will notice that there were no sixpences minted in 1928. All the other denominations are there, but no sixpences. Now back in the day, dice were produced in England and were then shipped to South Africa so that the coins can be minted here on home soil. In 1928, dice were received for all the other denominations except the sixpence and as a result, no 1928 sixpences were minted in that year. Neither proofs nor business strikes. It is unclear why the sixpence dies were never received and why the oversight was never corrected. It was therefore quite a shock when a 1928 South African sixpence surfaced at an English country auction in 2009. It was purchased for £5,750 by a dealer that had a strong suspicion of its origin. The exchange rate was roughly 13 Rand to the pound at the time, so that was a gamble of around 75,000 Rand. A gamble that turned out to be in the buyer's favour. The coin was sent to South Africa and validated by experts as struck from official dies. The planchet is 0.925 fine silver as opposed to the 0.8 fine used for circulation coins. It is now suspected that this coin was struck in England as a specimen or trial piece and then promptly forgotten about, stuck in a collector's album until now. The coin was sent to NGC for grading and the coin received a grade of SP63. The SP grade is reserved for specimen coins, specifically like this sixpence. It is truly a unique coin, a South African treasure. It went on auction on August 13, 2010 in Boston, Massachusetts through Heritage Auctions. Lot number 21849. It sold for a staggering 155,250 US dollars or 1.13 million at the exchange rate of 7 Rand 28 to the dollar. It is very difficult to pin the value on this coin today as there really is just one. It is anyone's guess, but I think a value above 2 million Rand is not far fetched. No one can really say for certain how many were minted. Only one has surfaced so far, and whether more are hiding either in Britain or even in South Africa is impossible to say. The point is that there may be more hiding somewhere. So keep an eye out. You never know. Anyway, keep well guys and happy collecting.